Hey guys, my name is Jim Over Dead. Welcome back to the channel, and of course, welcome back to some more Warhammer painting. Um, as you can see, I've neatened up this Stormcast Eternal Castigator um, and neatened up all that gold that we painted last time. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to paint up them, them cloth bits for tunic and bits and pieces like that on here with in that purple colour scheme that I've been going for. Uh, so of course we're starting off with some Nagaroth Knight, which of course is a purple base shade as well. So of course, what we do, get some on your brush of course, water it down if you wanted to water it down and if you want to do a couple of thin, thin coats and all that stuff and start just slapping it on really. With this you will have to be a little bit neater than you were with the gold, um, but there is no dry brushing involved and there will be no washes uh, shades either. Just remember to follow all them little curves of that cloth around. You may need to put a couple of coats of this on if needed, which won't be too bad. And it'll give you a deeper look as well. Right, so now with the Nagaroth Knight dry, what we're going to use now is some Zerius purple, um, which is a slightly lighter tone, and we're going to get it to give that purple a bit of a deeper look. So what we do is just paint it over some of the areas. What you'll need to do is, no matter what, is have a couple of coats to make it really stand out and just avoid the darker recesses so it looks like some shadowing because otherwise you'll just end up with one flat tone going across the parts on the model that you're painting. Right then, now that that's dry, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some Gene Steeler Purple to the model in small lines to highlight certain accents. So along the front here, just along the edge of the fabric. And you want to have a slightly light touch or just use the edge of your brush and go down sideways like so. And along areas like that, Let's just give it that edge highlight as well. Right, so now that edge highlight is done, what I'm going to do is, just to give it a little tiny bit more definition, I'm going to add some Slanesh Grey, 
just a certain little raised areas along that highlight just to give it as a tiny bit more tone a little bit more kind of light essentially so just on there as well like so and cross up point there and just there if you've made any mistakes where you've kind of gone a little bit thicker on the paint where you probably should have been a bit thinner just literally go back over with, with a coat that's on the more on the base to kind of get it back into line in a roundabout way and you should be all right. right so now the purple is done on the model what we move on to now is that white is that tabard in the middle which i'm going for a white color which to do that i'm using corax white as a base then i'm going over it with apothecary white uh with contrast paint just to give it a kind of a grey look in the recesses and then a bit more corn, Corax white over the top so we'll start off with that base layer white is dry all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer of puffer curry white contrast which will give it a kind of a grey look and then we go back over it with some more Corax white to get that white tone back into it's kind of like tabard that they're wearing Right, now with that contrast paint dried, what we're gonna do is just add some more Corax white just to the model to bring out that white kind of look, leaving out all the recesses where contrast will have pulled up to leave it kind of an off-white kind of color and a bit of shade without using an actual shade paint. Right then, so there you have it. That's all them robes painted up. Um, just a few little bits to tweak here, there and everywhere. Uh, add some colour to them, kind of like the leather parts to the gauntlets, paint his head, um, and a few extra of little details like the chain and the pendant and metallic bits and the weapon itself. And then you're good to go. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit, hit the like button. Hit subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.